What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be replacing the clutch master cylinder and the slave cylinder on the car. And I also got some dot three brake fluid so I can add some new fluids to the to the new parts. This is the old sludgy oil that it had. And the reason I'm replacing both of them is because this slave cylinder just failed on me yesterday. As I was driving the car, it was just... Um, it just failed to engage the clutch and I couldn't shift into gear. So, like I said, the reason I'm replacing both of them is because these, I'm pretty sure these are factory parts. And if one already failed, I'm pretty sure the other one's going to fail pretty soon. So, I don't want to have those troubles down the road. So, I'm just going to replace both of them at the same time. And um, let me just show you what the clutch right here is doing. Pump the pedal a couple times and then I'll show you right here. And after that, I'll just go ahead and uh, start removing the parts. All right, so the only keys that I'm going to be using are the 12 and the 10, which is 12 for the bolts and 10 for the line. Holy shit. Alright, so this one is loose. The only thing we have left is just on the inside. There should be like a cotter pin at the very top of the clutch. Should turn on the flash. Right there, you see that cotter pin on that brass little part. So I'm just gonna take that one off. And then I can't really. There you go. Alright, there you go. So, just like that. Here's the pin. And that's it, it's out. Alright guys, so here are the old parts. This one, I mean if it wasn't for that sludge, this one would probably be fine. But like I said, it's old. And this one is the one that actually messed up. see the seal on the inside I guess right here I'm not too sure how this thing messed up but it's pretty old and rusty what I'm gonna do so I can take out all that contaminated oil is just get the compressor and just blow on it with the air blow tool or whatever just blowing it from that side, make sure everything comes out, and then I can add some fresh oil. Alright, so that was pretty easy, wasn't it? There's like two bolts and one line over here, uh, two nuts and one line, and of course the cotter pin. So, right now, Set this right here. All right, now for the master cylinder, master clutch cylinder, whatever, on the shaft, so I can get it more or less the same size as the old one. I just put these two together right here. Um, 
that way this brass part can hit the aluminum and this side as well and they're both about the same size once it's in the car I'll just go ahead and adjust it inside so I'm gonna start by putting the nuts right here Wait, that's because I'm actually looking at the camera instead of what I'm doing there we go Alright guys, for this part my battery is just running a little bit low, so it's a little bit dark and I can't use my flash, but you saw how I took it off, just remove the cotter pin and then the actual pin, and to put it back in, just reverse it, just put the actual pin, and then there we go, the cotter pin. And that's it. So now I'm just going to add some oil and just bleed the line. All right, guys, so bleeding the clutch cylinder is the same way as bleeding the brakes. Um, it helps if you have somebody on the inside just pumping the clutch while you open the bleed screw right here You know just pump it a couple times hold it down open it let the air you know ex Escape and then you just shut it down and then pump it a couple times and repeat it just until um, your clutch is feeling good You know, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right guys So when you're bleeding just make sure you always have this reservoir full and your bottle of fluid handy it. Just make sure that never runs dry when you're bleeding it. If not, you're going to have to redo it again. Um, pump it. Hold it. Alright, go ahead and pump it. Alright, hold it. So that one didn't move. I've maybe heard some air coming out. I think there's still some bubbles there. One more time. I think that's good. All right guys, that's it. After you're done bleeding the lines, just make sure you have plenty of oil left in the reservoir. And you're done. I'm done. We're done, fuck it. Check that out. I also put, you remember when I put those, uh, that bumper lip on, on the front? I also went ahead and did the side skirt and that rear bumper over there, all the way around. So, oh. I think it looks pretty cool. Damn, that cloud is crazy. So yeah guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure and hit that subscribe button right now. I'm still doing that 200 subscriber giveaway, so stay tuned for that video. I'll announce it one of my next few videos. And um, I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.